it mean? That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Can we make a start, please? And before we do start, I would like everybody just to make a stand up for in recognition of one of our former councillors, and she was chair for the parish council. Um, Sybil Rich has sadly died, as we know. And if we just have a minute's silence, please, for in respect of her. Thank you. And for those who may or may not know for information, a few will be tomorrow. <coughs> well, before we start, do you want to say anything, George? Sorry. No, thank you. Um, we have one, one member of the public that would like to address the meeting before we start. I would just like to say that we do record our meetings. You won't necessarily be on camera, but your voice will be. I don't care. <laughs> so, Pat, would you like to...? Uh, yes, actually, as you probably know, Sybil was our next-door neighbour. Yes. And how that lady never got run over and killed, I shall never know, because she used to come out in the middle of the road, and that traffic comes down there. Some, very few, stick by the 30 limit. But I've seen people come down there 50, 60 miles an hour. And in fact, I've seen a six-birth caravan, a huge thing, with a four-wheel drive go through our village and passed us at way over 60 miles an hour because I followed him. By the time I got out of my drive, he was at East Brent and gone. What I'm complaining about is this road is getting worse. We're getting more and more people that are cutting through, especially if there's been a problem on the motorway, whatever, but they're cutting through and coming along um, Burton Road. And this is what worries me. Um, we have had put a, a mirror, so when I come out of the drive, I look both ways to make certain that everything is clear before I come out, well, we always do, we both check both ways. And I came out at one time, nobody was there, and suddenly this woman came round the corner like a bat out of hell. And she saw me, I was nearly halfway across the road. She came round, slammed her brakes on, and she shook her fist at me. How dare I be in the way? So she cut round me, and I was so stunned, I watched her. And you have the 30 uh, flashing thing there. And she actually drove past her at the same speed, and suddenly it flashed said, you know, you're doing over 30, and she went like that, but she continued at the same speed down the road. Now, to me, that is frightening. Um, about 10 days ago, my husband was putting out rubbish for the dustbin men and one of the little boxes. As he went to put it outside, he tripped, and he went flying into the middle of the road. Now, a van came round, and fortunately, he was doing 30 miles an hour. And he pulled around him, and he got out and asked Mike if it was all right. Had that been one of these idiots, you could have had the person that they're waiting for to be killed. And it took me about a week to get over it. I, I still shudder at the thought. He could have had his brain, his head caved in, whatever. Something has got to be done. And it's no good sitting back and saying, oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, yes, we've got this speed thing, you know. They don't take a blind bit of notice of it. And then, okay, you've got a, a speed gun. 
How many times? You can't be there the whole time. It is absolutely frightening. And now we've got more people that has moved along that road on Burton Row. Next to us, there's going to be another house. So what with Sybil's old one. So it's going to be another two houses there as well. And then you've got this pink house and whatever. So, you know, these people coming along these speeds, something has got to be done. Either we put a chicane in there, or we put sleeping policemen. Something's got to be done to stop this, because it's no good saying somebody's got to be killed first. To me, you know, this is wrong. We pay a lot of money in rates in this village. I mean, come on, we all pay. This must be one of the, the highest ones around in Sunset Round here. We should expect more to be done here, like, as I say, a chicane. I mean, when that house was being built further along the road, we had traffic lights, etc., and people slowed down, and they honoured that. So why can't we put something further up the road to stop these people? I mean, you've got problems getting out of your drive as well, haven't you? Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's not just us that's complaining. Something has definitely got to be done. So, you know, I can't say any more, but I mean, if you're waiting for somebody to be killed, I'm sorry, but I just think that's totally wrong. With respect, it's not us waiting for somebody to be killed. It's, it's the highways and the county highways that make all these decisions, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. All we can do is to bring it to relevant authorities' mm -hmm. attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was close to being the, the, the body. Yes. Yeah. As I say, it took me about a week to get over that. And the point is, even if your voice is being taken, carried forward, to let them know about this that's going on, because it's just amazing. You get, we've got all the visitors that's going to start coming. They come down here, they still think they're in the towns. Okay. So, that's me, anyway. Thank you. Thank you. We're now open our formal meeting. Uh, any apologies for absence? Apologies from uh, John Hamilton and Malcolm Bourne, both um, personal functions to attend. Uh, David and... David will be slightly late, he should be here in now. And apologies for him. I don't know if I'm going to be here at 7. I suspect he's here. No, he's OK. I saw him this afternoon, he was OK. Maybe he's yeah, probably. Yeah. So he may turn up. Yeah, we can. So, declarations. On, on the agenda, we have declarations of pecuniary interest or personal and prejudicial interest. Well, I've got Bob down as usual. Well, I've also got Bolton Place as well. Yes, I'm going to tell prejudicial. Well, well, before we, before we do individuals, what I was trying, going to try and say is. Recognising perhaps some confusion last time, and after some comments that Owen uh, help, had from his clerks meeting, yeah. and I believe that on our future meetings we should only have declarations of pecuniary or prejudicial interest, because at the end of the day, personal interest is going to be prejudicial. It, it was. It came to came to light because during our meeting with, with the fellow clerks, and, and certainly Berman. Um, who are you know, a fairly sizable council, don't, ever, don't any longer recognise personal interests, as far as they're concerned, because they, because they don't actually mean anything, because the, the council can continue to participate. Um, it's just really making a statement. It doesn't have any sort of, they don't believe it has any validity. Um, so they've, they've just done away with it, effectively. And that seems to be the case with some, some other parish councils as well. So it's a matter for you, I mean, I, we're happy to continue it. If, you, if it's your wish, we should do so. But personally, I think it's far easier and, and it'll save lots of confusion that if anybody has a potential interest that they consider could be uh, prejudicial, and they're not sure if it's per personal or even pecuniary, just just walk out of the meeting at that point, and, and then we then nobody's going to get uh, run foul of any legalistic issues, and that's what we don't want. I mean, there's nothing to stop anybody claiming personal interest. It's just what, what the meeting does about it, basically. It has no real yeah. weight, as it were. Okay. I think, Cliff and Chairman, if I could just comment, the, the, only, the only advantage sometimes to a personal interest is at least you've put something on the record. So, for example, the British Legion is asking for a grant in this meeting. 
I'm a member of the British Legion, paying me subs. Mm. It's not well, such that it would prejudice me in terms of that grant, mm -hmm. so I, but I would at least put it out there, because so, otherwise someone else would yeah. say, oh well, you know he's a British Legion member, of course he was going to vote that way. Uh, but at least that way you've put it out and yes. you've, you've, I you, you I can... I agree with you. Well, I am as well. Mm. Mm. Well, well, so well, 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 I think there's a, 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 a mm. in in fact the majority of the trade were probably members and if everybody left then we would be able to make a decision. But we don't have to chair, it's not pecuniary or prejudicial. So you can vote, can't you? And you can still vote, but at least for the record you've put it out there and you're not keeping it... You're doing everything you could do, if you even if you hadn't declared it. It's just that you've declared it, basically. Yeah. What is the legal ease of, uh, say, abstention? Peter just mentioned it. Abstention? Abstention from, from anything. Not that you're quite entitled to abstention. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, but we don't record the individual extension. No. We, we don't record it. We, we only have really uh, two categories. It's either, a non, it's either a unanimous decision or it's a majority decision. Yeah. Right. If, it's, if, it's a, if it's a majority decision, then it means that everybody hasn't agreed to it. But the minutes don't record who Ooh. votes. No. Oh, and, really? And there's a reason for that why we don't record. But it's C. Sorry? It's C. Well, yeah. also, if you decide no, that you're I going to see. put your head above the parapet on something and put your name against it on the minutes, you could well find yourself in the village have people having a go at you because you're the one at the meeting who said you objected to something. So, you know, it's, it's really, to, there's no reason to do it. There's no, there's no legal reason why we have to put names against it. Decisions. But people in the village would see, could see. Well, they, they, could do, they could do. They could do. So, 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 yeah. so the problem was still the same. Yeah. Uh, I mean, again, you, the problem with all of these things is there is nothing hard and fast. It's what we decide to do. Yeah. If you Just, look at if you look at a dozen problem. parish councils and see how they, they operate, you'll find you'll see a dozen, dozen, yeah. dozen different reasons yeah. and ways of doing it. It's how we feel comfortable and how we feel comfortable. If you've said to me, look, I, I, I feel much more comfortable yeah, putting my name against yeah. the proposal and second that. How do you mean? Fine. I don't have a problem with that. There's no reason not to do it. It's just that we've never done it historically. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the so thing. I think the, the feeling is that we we'll continue as we have been. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. all this scenario has been personal interest or presidential interest. Yes, no, it's just a personal yeah. interest in terms of the Legion, as it's out yes. yes. there, but it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not pretty much yeah. my view. I'm going to ask just for some advice for a moment. On parish hall payment, I don't think we're going to be there anything. Right. We're not making this other than paying a payment. Exactly. We're not booking. No. Okay, that's right. No. Yes, I was going to ask that. So, apart from that, is there any other... Yeah, Bella's got one on payment to I've... Roger Ward. Yes, I've got one on payment to Roger Ward. Um, the British Legion. So, the personal on the Personal prejudicial interest, for on call it. And uh, parish hall, but Bob yeah, said no, I don't need to do that because it's the other way. Right, okay. okay. And I have British Legion. So, Cynthia? Ooh. And me. Right. <laughs> I'm in the foreign meeting. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you've all had, that, you've, all, you've, had a, you've all had sight of the minutes. Can I have a proposal that they are uh, appropriate back of what we discussed last time, please? Uh -oh, sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Minutes. 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 Yes. Okay. Uh, seconded. Yes, All in favour? Have you got them here? Uh, yes, sir. Do you have them? Do you want to see it? <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Intention. Yeah. <laughs> Applications. Well, I'm just doing this. The first one, which is the approval of reservation matters, uh, a slight complication in that uh, a letter of acceptance has been granted by session more dated today. Yeah. So, it's Bob, just through, hasn't it, yeah. so yeah. Bob is just going to say a few words while mm -hmm. I continue signing my name. The call I took earlier was, was from Session just to confirm what was going on. <coughs> Basically what happened was we'd sent in comments from the last meeting. <coughs> we then Ola then contacted Sedgmore and asked them to defer a decision until after tonight. <coughs> um, because of the way that the, the original comments had been sent, they actually then were received and registered after Owen had contacted them saying can we defer it please? 
going back to the file apparently when they were then looking at it later and they thought okay we've got the note here saying please defer it and subsequent to that they then saw a decision from the parish council and they thought that decision had come afterwards rather than before oh. so because of a communication error they thought we'd sent our subsequent comments in and that's what they were um, that shouldn't have happened but basically we found out tonight only as the meeting was starting that the certificate has actually been issued to grant permission because that certificate has been issued, you can't withdraw it, so therefore that item that was on the agenda that we were going to potentially reconsider, there's no point in us reconsidering it because the decision has already been made by the district. But I thought it was better just to explain that yeah. before I... So could that happen again? It's never happened before, let's put it that way. No. Um, and uh, I think what it does do, it, it highlights the, the need and, and, you know, I was just saying to you before the meeting started, I'm keeping a record now of all the planning applications in a file by number order so that we know what we're being asked to consider and what has happened previously on that. So if you say to me, look, we want to consider this application, what's happened before this application? Has there been previous ones? Has there been any history? I can actually look at my document and say, yes, there has. There were two, two similar applications two years ago and this was the outcome of those decisions. Mm -hmm gives you some more background on what you've decided in the past. So, as a result of this, I've taken a little bit of steps to try and improve the communications generally between all of us, which I think is probably the fairest way of describing it, really. One of the things that has happened with, with what Sedgwick have told us tonight is that when they considered it, they did actually look, because they, the objectors who came to speak tonight, who obviously didn't because it had already been resolved, had raised a couple of issues. One was to do with drainage and one was to do with the height of the building within the report that the officer did to give to her boss to sign off, those issues were taken account of and they were commented on, but they weren't felt to be so serious that they needed to refuse it. In terms of the drainage, um, one of the concerns was that they were very keen for it to be at least six metres away from the boundary, which is what the drainage board had asked for. That is what the plan says it's going to be. The one thing if, if the parish council wished to do, they might wish to do, would be to comment to the drainage board just to ask them to ensure that, that is the case, mm -hmm. which they should do anyway, but it might just re-emphasise and certainly would raise the, it would help the residents to know that at least that had been You've highlighted. responded to one of the concerns. Mm -hmm. so can we do that? Can we, can, can we ask yeah, them on behalf of the council to write to the drainage yeah. board please? Mm -hmm. To, to ensure that that particular mm. issue is monitored. But as I say, Stuart Howard rang us back after we mm -hmm. raised okay. the issue with him and, and so did give his apologies to say it is obviously a, a communication problem that has happened and they acknowledge it was at their end. These things happen. These things happen. No one's perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Okay. okay. So, so we're now going to Portland Place. <coughs> right. For the second time. Oh, Ooh. yes. Anyone want to see the plans? Well, we have got them on screen in a minute. But that's you. You've got hard copies if you want to see okay. them. Okay, do you know? Do you just want to run through it? So are there any issues of um, real concern, I think, is well, the just one. Um, there's just one uh, objection from Mr. Bradshaw, who is the neighbour. Um, um, did we not have it? Did it have you not got a copy of no, well, he's obviously had one in. Um, he objected, he sent one to say more anymore. Uh, uh, anyway, and um, objecting to uh, the, the uh, um, privacy because there's a window that is going to be overlooking his garden. And this this is a second, um, obviously, this has come in once before and been refused, but it's a larger, they've increased the size of the um, extension. So if you want to see these, you can see them. If you've got them up there, you can have a look at the hard copies if you want to. They're here. And that's the location for the wall. Which is the neighbour that objected? The um, walls, which uh, is this side. Yes. And the side. walls and, the, and the, the, the one on the other side then. Yeah, the other side, did you say? Yeah. Yes. Who's the neighbour? Tony Is Yes, that's the one that, and it was turned down on their objection. But um, it is so to do with the south, west. Probably got that. Because they sent the old plans as well as the new revision, I think. 
and you've got a that's the superseding for pay elevations. That's the old one. Yeah, no, it's a superseded one. Yeah. It's superseded when it's been superseded. Yeah. So that's the one that we that's, we've that's, 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 a, that's what we looked at last time. And then there's the new one. No, this is the new one. Where's the camera? Uh, the proposed floor plan. Down because of the windows overlooking the neighbours. Can you tell me exactly what it's turned down just over the lack of information? Um, no, it wasn't, I don't think actually. Um, here we are. Um, yes, it was. It, objection by the parish council on grounds of loss of privacy to neighbouring property and residential amenity and incorrect detailing of plans. Yeah. So, yeah. You said the plans yeah. were a batch of fudge, you recall. Well, they were, yes, we can read them. Because I believe the gentleman the other side now is saying that he's going to have lack of privacy now. Yes, I do. He, 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 and with the window being And because of the sun. extension, it's nearer to his boundary, obviously. And um, it's online, anyway. Who's, who's objecting now this time? Yeah, the gentleman on the other side. The one that uses the brass. So the issue, I guess, is have we, have, have any individuals got any particular issues they would like to raise? Or? It's very close to the house, but I don't know how. Yes, sir. over privacy and I suspect um, our, our concern will continue to be one of privacy. Yes. So it's addressed one of our previous concerns, but it hasn't addressed anyone. <coughs> mm -hmm. The left side of the top picture, mm -hmm. that side, this side onto Battle Bray Lane. So the house from the objection, and I can't find it online, but the house from the who's put in the objection is in front of that, sideways on, I think, if I can remember the layout of Portland Place. But from what Cynthia said, it is a bigger extension. Yes, it is. It's bigger. So it's coming it's closer bigger. to that person's house. Is it the bungalows are the lot, are they? Yes. They're all, they're all true bundles at the moment. Yeah. Um, no, yes. I don't know. Yes, it will be in the land, the gallery, the gallery around the edge. Have they? I don't know, I'm pretty sure they have. Mm -hmm. Does it show? Well, what? Does it show? These are your front, that's your existing, that's your... Did you say it was a bigger extension? It is a bigger extension, it is bigger, yes. Which isn't a problem if it's, if it's not. Is there any yeah. other buildings in the place that are two stories? Mm -hmm. Because it is, it isn't, and it's not in keeping with the rest of it. Mm -hmm. But isn't that what we're not allowed to say, Colin? Pardon? I think we've got something on the uh, local local distinctiveness and effect on the character of the area in the street. Yeah, yeah. So if all the others are the same, yes. I think one is different. That shows yes. you, that shows you the, 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 the two, mm -hmm. the, you know, the actual signs of the Yeah, so that's the one on the left is the gentleman that's complained mm -hmm. this time. Mm -hmm. Well, also, those houses when they were built, were built obviously there um, in the sense that they've got they're surrounded by more or less the same amount of ground. Yes. Once you you start to extend and to 
and to change the shape and, uh, so and everything shows. else. And particularly if you've got a window that's overlooking somebody's garden. I think, in, you know, it's um, yeah, it's, it's not, not really. Sorry. It's, sorry, it's not. It's it's not um, not acceptable. Personally, I think you should well, to, to suddenly find that you, you you're um, not hundred years old. I mean, no. they were designed, and we accepted them all as fitted. That yes, yes, because that's a lot of problems over that, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. yeah, a lot. That's where it is now, that's the proposal. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's almost doubled. It looks yeah, as though you've actually. It's going up, isn't it? Yes. All the others are going to stop on the Yes. I haven't gone up into the loft and I've got a lot. Yeah. Um, so. Landscape impact, perhaps that's. I don't know whether it would come under that. This was in the public action This is architecture detailing, layout and density. Um, I, think it, I, I think it's residential amenity, yes. which is the issue. Yes, I think we're right there. Yes. I, I propose we object on the grounds of. Visual domination as well, obviously, because if it's going yes. to be higher. And bigger. It's going to be in all directions, isn't it? Yeah. So, so I think well, Peter's making a proposal to say that we would object on the grounds of. Is that a kilter with the rest of the. Overlooking the loss of privacy. Yeah, so it's very, very And good. overlooking and loss of privacy. Yeah. Yeah. And if it's going, to, it's going up, it's an extra, it's a height. It's a certain amount of visual domination, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So can we have a, a vote on that proposal, please? Please vote good. Seconded. 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 Right. right. Okay. And all those in favour? We all stand. Within sort of ten feet, there's a concrete yeah. reservoir. Yeah. There wouldn't be a, for the water that's pouring out of there. Mm. You wouldn't be able to collect that in that, that amount of dirt. And in any case, it'll only it'll if it's a spring, it'll only really run when it's raining. It will run all the time. But this is as soon as the, the, the water in the village, the village takes the water out and it lowers mm. itself, then it's no problem. But that also serves, doesn't it? It serves Lincolnshire and parts of Burnham, I think. 
No, I'm worried about it. No, but that, that, <laughs> in terms of it would help to take the water away, that's all. Oh, we'd ask more to turn the taps on. Yeah. But certainly, I think trying to go back. Have been had a look? Yes, possibly, mm -hmm. but I think perhaps it needs to go on Sunday. <laughs> Is it so, to do with the so the excessive rain we've had up here? No, 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 no. No, it's no, not. It's running through the ledge. Well, David, could we write to them and ask them to meet someone yeah. on because Peter knows where the water comes out of? So we're going to meet with you, Peter. Yeah, there's a huge pool on the other side of the edge, so it's. Up and then draining yeah, down down. One of the problems with with the meeting mark because they phoned me up. The, the guy phoned me up on his mobile phone actually from the village and said, "I've just been up to the reservoir and I can't see any issues." Yeah. Um, and of course, I said, "Well, if we could have a pre-planned meeting, mm. you know, we can get somebody to meet me there." And he said, "Oh, we don't work like that. We just come here when we when we when we're in the rain <laughs> yeah. So I uh, I mean I think. We'll, we'll try and get someone to meet up with you if, we, if they could be cooperative. Well, I mean, if, if there was a leak in the road, they'd tell you all the time to let them know mm -hmm. because losing water is. Well, mm. yeah. I've that. got the guy's name now, at least I've got the name, which is always good. Yeah, okay. Anything else on for the past, Peter? No, not. Thank, Thank you. Not. Very good. And I guess in the absence of Malcolm. Oh, I've got a footpath. Um, oh, sorry, you've got a footpath. Yeah, I, oh, just thought, I just thought of it, sorry. Um, <laughs> the footpath next to the church that goes up the knoll, where there's a kissing gate, um, quite recently there's, there was uh, two occasions, so I've been told, that there was motorbikes going up and down the footpath because there was a gap to the side of the kissing gate, which me and Richard Mills Roberts have now put the original gate that was on the home many years ago and chucked in the side, we've put that back there. So hopefully that will be a stop there. Thank you. Um, the, the curbstone has now been replaced outside um, in hairdressers. Yeah. That's been dealt with. The pot of the hole has been completed in Hill Lane and the Wessex Water have completed the, the, uh, the resurfacing near the public station. Yeah. Yeah. So all those are three outstanding jobs that have now been completed. There's another curbstone now right outside the parish hall. Adjacent to the drain, that's cracked. So people keep driving over it. Uh, so it's outside. Not the sign this side. side. This side or the other side? Right outside the main door to the village hall, so, main door. which is a seat of the above foot traffic. Mm. Um, sorry, um, I don't know where this comes, but um, whether it's footpath roadways, but um, as you go up Hill Lane, and Mike Diamond pointed this out the other day, there's a, a, a culvert uh, that goes underneath the drive to the cottage, uh, of Sue's yeah. boss yeah. cottage. There's a culvert that goes underneath there, out onto an open ditch, and then there's some iron railings mm -hmm. um, that have been split apart that then flow down to the new... Um, Mike Diamond says he was a bit concerned about it because it's full of stone, loose stone, that yeah. has been um, washed, down. washed down. And he says if that's washed down anymore and goes into the coal, it's yeah. going to block it all up. Which I don't know who has more. responsibility for that. Is it Matthew? No, it's too high up the hill. Um, I don't know because. Um, when I used to be at Sue's, they used to come and periodically dig it out, but they haven't for many years now. Because yeah. obviously, when the road, when we had the flood in whatever year that yeah, was, it a lot, the drain. yeah, a lot yeah. of the rocks went down and it blew a hole in the road outside Woodlands, yeah. and then they changed it. Yeah. But there's nothing stopping the rocks still going down. No, no. So, so there's, there's quite a lot in there. Really I didn't have deals with that. Hi highways, I think. Um, I, I think highways mm. dealt with it before. Okay, so it's, so, it's, it's in terms of, so it's in terms of just so we get a precise location, it's near near Cops Cottage. Cops Cottage. 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 The fence is acting as a sieve, isn't it? The it's like a railing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what they call it. Force the part on yeah. Yeah. to let stuff go. <coughs> okay. 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 Just one other thing, we'll roll this because David spoke to me today about the hedges around the village. 
because obviously that comes under really good part of it, really. But um, do you want to just explain, David, what you... Um, what you well, we really? said a, a while ago about doing some of these hedges that are growing into the road and footpaths and things. And we talked about it in the budgeting meeting, but we didn't really resolve anything. But a few people have mentioned recently, um, Bob thought about it also, but it's bird nesting season on the 1st of March. Mm -hmm. And if we don't do anything before the 1st of March, we're not going to get the chance till September at the earliest. Mm -hmm. And we've got another year's growth on some of it. So, uh, who, who are we going to get to? Well, that's for the council to decide. Are you available? Well, you've got to go. Because I actually do my film too. Could we go through through Jason? I think it should yeah. be done through Jason yeah. Yeah, in the first instance, but we need to identify which of the main yeah. areas we think are. Yeah, because there was a map before. Which yeah, I, did, I think but we said, didn't we, we, would, we can't do them all, no. but we could prioritise perhaps which is the worst yeah. one as a first, a first attempt. I don't know how you want to prioritise it. I'd rely on your expertise. Is that please? <laughs> Well, there's certainly some issues, and um, the bit outside South Frank Close is a definite issue because when I've been going up and down with a tractor one day, there was a van that had to keep out in the road because of its wing mirrors, and it pushed the car to the other side, which subsequently hit the curb, and its tyre had gone. And I thought then, it's um, it's certainly growing out, and it, it and it isn't easy, but what with the tractor, obviously. It's in the map, but vans, lorries. Um, um, if you go past South Frank Close, yeah, literally I'm, straight I'm past, yeah, yeah. yeah, there is a station road so side in the hedge. The entrance of the station road down yeah. the road. Yeah. Yeah. to the bridge, really. Yeah. So I guess the problem we're facing though is if, if we yeah. said to you uh, which one we would do, and that sounds like the likely candidate, yeah. we're then going to get a price, then we've got to agree the work. Yeah. And by the time we can agree the work, so we, can't, we can't do the work. That's why I spoke to her in earlier. Yeah. Unless you wanted to give some sort of figure uh, for those that work to be done between now and March, and, and you know, do what can be done within that within that yeah. budget. That's the only well, other thing. That's for you to discuss, yeah. and I'll declare an interest. Yeah, at that point. David will declare an interest <coughs> because he may well be doing the he work. So, well do it. Um, so it's up to Jason ultimately. Yeah. We do it through Jason, but we need to know what we're asking Jason to do, basically. Yeah. Because that's not going to... When we've had the map that David did for us at the budget meeting, mm. um, we did agree to put some money in the budget. Uh, we did. Was it we we, we did. Uh, I think it was... I think it was more than I think it was a thousand. Mm. Sure. But that uh, was well, it. I can check that out anyway. Mm. But certainly it was 500. Mm. Certainly no, no less than that. But if we did it now, it would be this year rather than mm. the budget that we've allowed for. Yeah. It's so long, I guess. Yeah. I mean, could, could we, <coughs> without asking you know, this question, to go away. No, 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 we really need to ask, in your own mind, mm -hmm. an approximate figure, have we got any idea of what we're thinking of, what it would cost? For which bit? That bit you just mentioned. Station room. Station room. Um, no more than £150. Oh, well, that's would you like to, well, I mean, I think the way forward, to be honest, is... Um, we'll discuss it with Jason. Yeah. We'll discuss it with Jason. And if you then ask... Ask him to quote a price on yeah. it. And whether, you know, 